There we go. Okay. Is it in there pretty solid? Yep. Okay. So we don't need that little uh, that little adapter anymore, right? Nope, nope. That cool. was just to uh, pop the gear off. Okay. That looks like maybe just a little bit. You must harder. have been in here and and tuned this one up, huh? No, it looks like it's, you know it's really. <laughs> oh, it's retarded. You think about a little? It, it's retarded just a little bit. Because oh. uh, usually what we used to do. You used to advance the day, them a little bit. Yeah, but this is just a fire pump. That's what when you were trying to make total horsepower, you know. Yeah. So the, what we used to do, see the see how it's got the the pointer, and then the tip of the point, and that, and then the mark of the TDC. We used to put it before top dead center. So we'd put this mark at this edge, and that would advance it. Oh, okay. And then that's what, and that went for altitude. So like New Mexico, Albuquerque, and that was. Uh, 5,000 feet, it's a mile high too. Yeah. So we used to always bounce our pumps half a hole before top dead center. Uh huh. And that, and man, they'd come alive and scream. You could build boost, horsepower. Yeah. And everything in that. And we just learned that years of doing this. Okay. I mean, but that's, that's, I mean, that's pretty damn close. Yeah. As far as, TDC and you're gonna have a little bit of slop in the gear drain, you know. Um, I mean, if you want to adjust it, we can. I think we should, maybe. I'm okay. thinking let's back it up, and then we'll just bring it right to TDC both. Okay. Um, so you we could we could even check it here. That's our other timing mark. Okay. So, so we could take that out. Is that half inch too? Looks like. Uh, yeah. And if you look at that hole, we got the ratchet and peel back this up just a little bit. Up here on yep. the pump? Yep. Okay. Shut up. Did you put it back to one? Ten. Yeah. So if you feel for it. If it feels like it's too much, then we're really stretching that damn bolt you know, uh -huh. and back off. Okay. So what's this body right here called? So underneath this, underneath this timing pen, and you can take these bolts off, is your rack setting. 
So it's got a little rod that goes down into the control rack. So you got two rods that run across that the sleep metering controls the fuel for each cylinder, for each injector. Mm -hmm. So there's like a dash, there's a, what do they used to call it? Uh, it's been so goddamn long. Uh, but there's a, an adjustment screw. So you set up a dial indicator. They got a different type of setup you can put on here. And that, and you can put a dial indicator on here. And that, and you can run your rack. And that, and you get your fuel setting. And it's in millimeters according to the pump. And then sometimes these pumps have a tag on them telling you what kind of pump or what kind of fuel setting you need to have for this particular horsepower. So that's mainly here and you got like, we used to put them on the test bench, a little continuity light. We used to put, hook up to it, this little probe and it had a little tang on it and that, that when it made contact with everything and that, then it told you that's when your full fuel was. And we used to be able to set it. Under this guy is your high idle screw. Oh. And that, and that's where you mainly set your high idle. Your run your RPM? Your stop, yeah, your stop, oh, your stop. high idle. Stop okay. high idle. And then the bottom one down here is your, supposed to be your your uh, low idle. Uh, and then, so when your rack is all the way up against your shaft, this is like for more on the highway trucks. Not this application, because we're, we're fixed at a certain RPM. Mm -hmm. But on a truck and that, that would be hooked up to your throttle, through <laughs> your pedal. Oh, okay. And whoop, whoop. And uh, so you adjust your low idle speed and that so you could have your truck run at 650 RPMs, 700 RPMs. I think it was 650 in the trucks roughly that you wanted to run at an idle. So you would adjust that because this would be all gone. Okay. But So that's low idle, that's high idle, and then that's where you adjust your rack. Okay. And that. And well, then, I, mean, I see they replaced this too. That's nice. Really Give us a like, new one. Yeah, and that's your... Because you said there's like a screw inside there, yeah. right? Fuel return. And you, they like this. Used to be, I can't remember exactly what they used to set them to. So does that fuel return um, correspond or correlate with the actual fuel pressure? Yeah. Like you depend a little bit, adjusting yeah. that? You can control your flow coming out of the pump to keep a positive pressure. But also you've got a check valve in here. And you've got a spring with another little valve and that helps control your fuel pressure. Okay. What I've done in the past, and then I used to take these off if the fuel pressure was low, is I would pull pull this out and there's a spring underneath it with a little valve on it that goes down inside that pump housing. Mm -hmm. I used to stretch the spring a little bit to get your 35 pounds or, or more, because it used to be about 35, 40 pounds of fuel pressure was good for an engine mm -hmm. back in the day. And uh, so, so yeah, you used to be able to take that off. That's why they seal it, so you can't do anything with it. Uh -huh. And that's why they seal this, so you don't mess with the, the rack setting. So they're set, so for warranty purposes and that, if somebody of these are broken off, then you don't get war any warranty because somebody's been into your pump. Yeah. And okay. That, so. And this is also your bleeder, so you could break this open and bleed the fuel system. So How does the test bench work for these? Is there something that drives that front gear? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you put an adapter on the front drive and then, and then it sits on a fuel test bench and you hook up fuel lines to each, uh, each one of these pumps. Okay. And then, and then you, you spin, uh, you turn the engine or turn uh, the test bench to a certain RPM. And at a certain RPM, you're supposed to have what they call fuel delivery. And you had so much fuel to be delivered out of each pump. So that's what it told you also too, if they're all even. Okay. Delivering the same amount of fuel and they were supposed to deliver so much at a certain RPM. Okay. And that, and then you could run it up and you would check your governor to see if it go into an overspeed. So the governor spring and that pushes it into fuel, your flyweights take it out of fuel. The more you spin your engine or the more you spin this pump, the flyweights take over and open up, which pulls the rack out of fuel. Oh. And, then, and then as the RPM drops down, the flyways start to pull back, and then the governor spring puts it back into fuel. Okay. So then it sort of just worked its way back and forth with RPM. So we used to be able to spin them up, you know, on the test bench, and that overspeed it like, and that would make sure that the governor turned the fuel pump off so it wouldn't overspeed okay. at, at high idle. 
you know, there was a, I can't remember what the setting it was, at high idle, and that say it was 2,800 RPMs or 26 or whatever, and that then you would adjust that until that governor was hitting that peak delivery at that RPM, and then anything over that would go into an overspeed, like on our generators, you know, they go into an overcrank, yeah. overspeed, and they yeah. shut down. Okay. Same thing, so you want this governor to shut down. Nice. So, so yeah, it's a nice little pump. But, okay. Uh, no. Okay. So, let's set that puppy in there. Off, huh? Yep. To get the fuel lines off. Mm -hmm. or fuel lines on. Yeah. And I think we can put this on last. Sitting all the way down? No, it's not. It's okay. It's because it has a get that out. Okay, it's down. For these two fuel lines, will it, I can't remember if it was on top or on bottom. Find out before we start. Cause yeah, this is the one that goes. Okay, yeah, it could just fit. Go on top? Yep. You wanna put this in there? Yeah, I'm trying to run out. Maybe tighten it down. This one's starting for sure. Suck it all the way down and tighten it up and maybe it'll help keep us aligned a little bit. You know? Shut it off? Yeah, just shut it off. Shut it off. Alright. Open and shut up right away. 